Hello and welcome. It's Angela with Angela's Crafty Space. And today we are going to make some pockets. We are going to mass make some pockets that I saw on Gail Augustinelli's channel. It's a pocket that she um, had bought something at a craft store and she had recreated it using paper and fabric and all kinds of things. Today we are just going to use 12 by 12 papers. This is just uh, some blue fern paper. It's 12 by 12. I've already cut the strip off. Now you can get three of these pockets out of one 12 by 12 paper, which is awesome. And hold on one second. I didn't realize I didn't turn my volume down. And you can fold them in different ways so they look different as well. So I will show you that. So let's go ahead and cut this down. So you need your width to be four, but your height of your paper to be ten and a half. So we're going to cut our ten and a half first. All right, so now we're at ten and a half. And that went into my scrap bag, which is down here on my side. So now we're going to cut at four inches. There's one. Two and three. And let's just go ahead and do that one more time with this piece of paper. This is another blue fern. Uh, let me pull the strips out here real quick and I can tell you what collection this is. This is the Compositions Collection, and this particular sheet here is the Allegory Sheet. It's a 2021 collection, so it's not that old. And the other piece is, I'm not sure where, oh here. The other piece is the same one, and it's Harmony. If y'all care to know. Alright, let's see which way's up on this. I guess it really doesn't matter. So we'll say this way is. And we'll do ton and a half. Hope everyone is doing well. Ten and a half. And now we're going to cut our three four inch pieces. And then we can get rid of our cutter and score away. All right. Let's get rid of this. And then well, let's do our scoring. Now, I also cut some of the purple uh, before I came on. So I do have some of these as well. If we, uh, This is the back of those. So I was curious to see how those would come out. And then I also wanted to see how these came out. So, maybe we'll get to all of them. I don't know. I will check my time in just a little bit. So, the scoring is very simple. And it is, you want to find your top. Whichever, one, whichever way you want to be the top. You want to score it at one inch. You want to score it at five. And you want to score it at eight and a quarter. Eight and a quarter. All right. So let me write that down for you. So you want to score it at you want to score it at one inch at five inches and at eight and a quarter. Those are your score marks. Okay. One inch, five inch, and eight and a quarter. And your paper size is four inches by ten and a half. Okay, so you need to cut your paper to four inches by ten and a half, and then you score it at one inch, five inch, and eight and a quarter. Okay, so let's go ahead and score all these, and then we'll fold them. 
it'll be a surprise. <clears throat> one inch, five inch, and eight and a quarter. All right, so let me just fold one so you can kind of see what I, what's going on here and what kind of pocket we're making. Oh, I didn't show you, did I? I guess I should have showed you. Um, sorry about that. So let's fold one of these up so I can show you what we're making. Maybe I'll put something in the front of this video. So this is what we're making here. Where'd my card go? I'll just get the bone folder out of here. And you want to crease your creases real good. And there you have it. So you would glue this down and then you would have your pocket, you know, in there. And then this, if you wanted, you could make it a, a, an up tuck or you could just leave it flappy, decorate the edge or glue it down. But yeah, that's really pretty. I really like that. Let's see what it looks like if we fold it the other way. I know it's not good to do this to your paper, but no, not liking it because it's upside down. Okay, so we folded it the right way the first time. Okay, so I know I did that really fast, so let me show you again with the other piece of paper because I don't want to refold that one. So we fold this down. The one inch you're going to fold down. Then the... bottom you're going to fold back on itself and then you're going to fold the middle up so let's do that again so the one inch you're going to fold down the eight and a quarter inch fold you're going to fold back and then you're going to fold it up and then that's how you get your pocket And that's what that one looks like. Now let's see what it looks like if we fold it the other way. I'm not sure which way I like better. This one's right side up, so maybe we'll go this way. This paper you can't go wrong with. It looks good no matter what you do with it. <laughs> it's blue fern, right? Let's do one of these purple ones now. Not that one. That's not the right one. I wanted to do one with the multi back. I wanted to see how that came out. So eight and a quarter. Oh, whoops, that was nine and a quarter. Eight and a quarter. Five. And one. Eight and a quarter, five, and one. And then we're going to fold this down. This back. And this up. Oh, that actually came out really nice. Look at that. I was not expecting it to come out that nice. We almost got like the whole ad there. Beautiful. Let's do another one. See what we get on this one. Now I'm going to want to do them all, right? Okay, so we're going to score again at one, at five, and at eight and a quarter then we're gonna fold this down this back the eight and a quarter back on itself and then up and that's what it looks like this way that's really pretty too I think we'll leave that one this way <clears throat> although now that I creased it I'm curious to see what it would look like the other way let's just look real quick it's probably going to be upside down, so it doesn't matter, but I'm just curious. Yep, it's upside down. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. Let's get it right. <laughs> All right, now you could glue these or you could sew these. Uh, Gail showed how to sew them, so I'm not going to do that on my channel, but I'll link her channel below so you can check out how to sew them if you'd like. But I will show how to glue them together after we're done, because this is a mass make. So we have to make them all first, and then we can 
Okay, sorry about that. My husband said dinner was ready and I was starving, so I went to eat. So let's do one of these. So again, we're going to score it at one, at five, and at eight and a quarter. <clears throat> and we are only at ten minutes, so we've got plenty of time. I think we'll finish all these up today. Okay, so that's that one. That's cute. Or we could do it this way and have it like that. I like that too. So we've got another piece of that paper right here. So we could do another one. So one inch. <clears throat> Five inch and eight and a quarter. Pull this back up and down. That's really cute too. But that's just like this one. Wonder what it would look like if we did it the other way. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. It's a little dark, but this lightens it up here. And then you have one two different ways. I like it. Okay, then we have this paper. We don't have any of those glued yet, so they're puffing up. So then we have this, this one. And then we'll count and see how many we did. One inch, five inch, and eight and a quarter. paper is beautiful. You can't really go wrong with any of these blue fern papers. Alright, that looks pretty. I'm taking option two for this one. Let's see how this one comes out. <clears throat> one inch, five, and eight and a quarter. Very easy measurements, aren't they? Fold that back in itself. Oh, that's pretty. This one we got to see what it looks like the other way too. I don't like that one so much as the other way. Do I? No, I like it better this way. Yeah. Sometimes you just gotta go with the first choice. Alright, let's see what we get with this one. I really like this paper. One inch, five inch, and eight and a quarter. I'm using up my stash. I'm feeling so good about this project. It's upside down here, so let's see what it looks like the other way. We might even get the flowers the other way. Nope, they're going to go behind. We got the flowers this way? Oh yeah, look at that. Let's do it like that. Right on. Then we get the flowers, that nice yellow against that brown. That is so pretty. Wow. Okay, last one. And we're going to, oh, sorry about that. Oh, geez. Hold on to it, Angela. My goodness. One inch, five inch, and eight and a quarter inch. And then this one, we have this, or we have this. I'm liking the other way because we got the flowers, right? So, let's do it. We got them all done. Let's see how many we did.
All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then I did a few before the video, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 all together. All right, let's see if we can get them all glued. I know this is going to be really fun to watch. Maybe I'll think of a nice story, but I'm not going to glue them all on camera because I do want to sew some of them. So I will do that, but I do want to show you where to glue. I want to make sure my glue is going to work. Let's get rid of our scoreboard and let's get a glue page. All right, so we want to glue this back flap down because that doesn't need to move. It's really just a decorative aspect of it. And then you want to glue this like a pocket. So you're going to glue the two sides here up to there and here, up to there. <clears throat> and then I don't recall Gail gluing this, but I do recall that she did a decorative punch on it. So I'm gonna put you on hold just one second while I go grab a decorative punch. Okay, I'm back. So I got all my edge punches because I wasn't sure which one I wanted to use. And this one, I did the this rose one right here. It's by My Paper Studio, which is Hobby Lobby. So yeah, it's got two different settings. There's one setting um, where it punches it out right here. So this one would punch it out completely. And then this one is just the edge. So if you want to punch it out completely, you would put it all the way down. And then it only punches like that. Or you can put it like that and then it just punches like an edge punch. Okay? So that's what those kind of punches are like. And I am going to show how to use it. Because I get a lot of questions when I use punches. Well, how do you know how to line it up? Well, I'm going to show you. So let's take one that'll be easy to see and let's do this rose punch again because I thought that was really pretty. Actually for this one there's not any flowers so let's do, let's do this one. This is a Martha Stewart. I got this at Michael's. So what we're going to do is, and I might want to zoom in to get rid of this. Let me try to zoom in just a tad here. So you can kind of see what I'm doing. All right. So um, let's see. So this is the edge that we want to do. So let's put it in there. And I'm going to put it in about halfway or so. Not all the way in. And then I'm going to punch. And then I'm going to move it over. I'm going to hold it like this actually. I'm going to move it over. And I'm going to line up this punch with the holes over here if I can I don't think it punched correctly the first time let me try that again there we go And then line it up. I think I'm missing some of mine or something. I can't seem to see to line it up. There we go, right there. Then you line it up and punch again. And ta da! I just want to get that last little bit there. I'll just do that. And then there you go. It didn't come out perfect, but you know what? It's good enough. I think it has a little piece hanging off right there. Let me get my scissors before I rip it. <clears throat> so, let's try that one again this time. 
with a different piece of paper. Let me look and see which one we might want to do. Let's do one of these. This is Prima paper. I want to do the leaf one on this. So let's try this one. So this is, this is like an ivy pattern, like a leaf pattern. Okay, so let's, let's see if I can show you how to use it with this one better. So I want to put it in about a little more than halfway and punch. See how well that punched? Uh, I'll tell you what brand this is when we're done. And then you want to line it up with the picture on the other side. Punch again. And then you just keep doing that all the way down. So we're at the end. So I'm going to line it up one last time. Give it a little punch. There we go. And we have that one done. Isn't that sweet? I like that. Okay, so that's that one. Let see I also want to do the leaf one on this one too so let's try it one more time so we're gonna put it in about about a little bit over half about three quarter these things take some muscle to punch though I'll tell you now you want to line it up with the picture on the other side and punch line it up And, and there you go. I don't know why that fell off like that. Uh, that's not good. But there we go. I might have to glue this one down because of that. But no big deal. It looks fine. It works fine. It is fine. And we are going to use a different one now. I want to see how this one works. This is also a Martha Stewart. Oh, what was this one? EK Success. Got this one on Amazon. Right here, this one. Amazon. This one is Martha Stewart again. So let us pick one. Let's do this one. So again, we're going to go about three quarters of the way. Punch. Line it up. This one I had a hard time lining it up last time, but I think I got it. Punch. Line it up. Punch. And ta-da! I don't know why it's leaving that little bit right there, but we could just cut it off. No harm. No harm, no foul, as they say. So there's that one. And you would want to punch the edge before you glue it down. It doesn't really matter, I mean, because probably get it in there after everything else is glued down and do it still but I don't know it seems to me like it would be easier without it glued down let's see is there another one here I might want to use this punch on let's try it on this one all right so it goes like that. you know what actually we didn't do this one yet let's do this one I don't want this one to feel left out it's okay little punch all right, this is also a Martha Stewart, so we're going to start again about three quarters of the way in. Punch. Line up. This one I got to be able to line up with the dots. No, I can line it up right there with that. Okay, punch. Yep, that worked. Line it up again and punch. There we go. There's that one. That's pretty. Yeah. Okay. So, we did all the punches. Except for the rose. Did we do the rose one? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, this one I think I'm going to have to glue down or I'm going to lose that piece. So, we did those. So, let's go ahead and glue the ones that we did the punch on. I'm trying to find them. I buried them back there. Okay, so these are all the ones that we did the punch on because we're running out of time. We're at 24. So, let's go ahead and glue a couple of these real quick. This one's 
stayed together so I think it was user error but it's like barely hanging on there so should I glue? I'm not gonna glue it down because it's not falling off but should it start to I will glue it down all right I'm just putting glue on both sides and then I'm going to put glue on this flap. And I'm using the Barely Arts glue. Whoopsie, it came off. So it's going to get glued down too. Because it was hanging on by a thread. I don't understand that punch. Unless I did it wrong. Which is very possible. I don't put it past me. <laughs> For sure. Alright. No harm, no foul. We saved it. There's that one. All done. Oh, let me back you back out. There we go. So there's that one all done. And there's Scully saying hi, like usual. Uh, this one we still need to glue. Oh no, this one we glued already. So here's that one. That's the rose punch that we did. And then this one needs to be glued. So again, we're going to glue the top flap down. And then we're going to glue both sides. And that's that. There's that one. <clears throat> I don't know if I'm going to glue these flaps down. I probably should because otherwise they're going to be a brat. But I'm thinking you could lift it up and write, especially on this one. So I don't know. Like this one, not so much. But this is the one we have to glue down anyway because of the flap. And this one also, not so much. But I think the ones you can write on, I might leave up or paper clip or something like that along those lines so that's it for today i want to thank you all so much for joining me on this adventure of this video and we'll see you next time bye bye